Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a comparison video of two of my favorite Chanel wallets. Um, this here is the um, O-case here from Chanel. This here is the classic flat but with the uh, two large compartments and a small little card slot with the Mona Lisa pocket in the back. And then this one here is the small compact wallet or small wallet that Chanel calls it um, in uh, just caviar, black leather, silver hardware and this is a full out compact wallet where you can put a full size bill in here and some extra cards and actually put some change in the back um oh and this here i forgot to mention is uh is like a coral pink patent leather with silver hardware um so i love these little guys a lot however they both have their pros and cons uh to them uh each and also I tend to use this one here for larger handbags and this one here for uh, smaller type handbags but not exactly like tiny mini handbags um, more like a um, like just like a pochette type of bag um, so I will show you um, basically the the pros and cons of both because they are quite different but they do have some similarities so the first one here um the o case here i really love this little guy so much this was um i got this little guy first before my compact wallet because at the time i just couldn't like chanel just wasn't um wasn't getting a lot of these wallets in and the caviar leather on these guys were always so weird so i just decided to go continue on with the patent and also this was in pink and this is my f one and only uh pink chanel piece so i had to get it because i just fell in love with it um so it is an all fabric uh interior with some um some leather detailing like this middle panel and the um edging here is all in leather so I tend to use this as both a card holder and uh, to hold some cash if I ever do need cash. Um, but I always tend to put the cards in between the gussets here. So like for example, I will only put the cards here or like just in between here. I will never put a card in the center here because then it'll just stretch this gusset out and it will just deform the whole piece and then when you close it it'll just stick out and kind of look weird so um, I try not to do that um, I try to keep the shape as um, like like new as possible however um, the exterior like the material on the exterior here is quite hard to maintain but that's only because it is a light color um, patent leather and patent leather just over time will um, collect the color so there's going to be a lot of color um, migration here so front when you um, face this front on you can't really see it but when you when you tilt this off to the side a little bit you can see some color um, some color migration on here and I mean so there is color migration but it's not to the point where it's quite obvious and it distorts the look um i mean i still love it the i i mean i just love the functionality of this wallet that's really what wins me over about this piece the most um so and i now that i see some color transferring i don't wear i don't use this in uh dark interior handbags so um, I would really advise you guys to get a dark color um, wallet. Just dark color wallets in general are the best um, for um, for a condition. Um, but it's a really versatile piece. You can use one side for coins and cash, and then the other side for cards, stri like strictly cards. But if you do that, that means you have to have less cards. So it's if you have like 10, 20 cards, it's best to use 
um, use use this strictly just for cards but um, if you want to use this as a multi-purpose piece you can I mean I have a couple times put cards and cash so some cards in the back some cash in the front and then I put like some um, bobby pins or some hair ties in the front here and it'll it closes just fine and this piece really is multifunctional because it has this is basically like just an open pocket for you to put anything in, but um, it's I think it, it works best as a uh, card holder uh, or a full size like wallet um, if you want. Next, um, this compact wallet from Chanel. Um, so the pros of this piece is it's caviar it has the best durability wearability ever um and also it just feels so nice to the touch of your hands when you reach inside your bag you can you just know that this is your wallet because of the pebbling so it's really great um in that aspect however when I try to use this piece, it's a little annoying how Chanel continues to use um, snap button closures because I feel that sometimes, like when I when I um, when I pull this open, it actually like pulls on this leather and curls this flap because you're constantly lifting this piece up so it gets really annoying sometimes so sometimes i just get lazy and i just don't even close it i just leave it in my bag um open like that um and then the interior here has six card slots and it has two flaps here where you can put additional cards if you want or receipts or whatever. So this is a pretty uh, versatile, um, it's very versatile inside. And then here you can put extra car uh, your cash and things in here um, or extra receipts. Right now I have a receipt in there. Um, and yeah, the only uh, thing I also have um, uh, have some annoyance is that sometimes the car slots get um, get caught underneath but because I've used it it's kind of stretched out a little bit so for this side here I don't use very much so as you can see it's pretty flat so sometimes I have to like put my finger behind here and push out so that the slot comes out and it's easy for me to put my card in but sometimes that doesn't work so I have to literally grab my nail and like pull it out and um, that works too but that just means that it um, kind of bends the the slots a little bit um, it's a gorgeous piece I love the interior I mean I wish that this piece had a different color interior but um, this is just this just screams um, classic Chanel and then also in the back here this is meant for coins but honestly I can't fit more than like four coins inside here because it's so small and when you close it um, it kind of bubbles up and it just there's just some distortion that happens and it doesn't sit flat flatly in um in your handbag very nicely so i don't really use use this unless i have like some coins and i and i um have to have some coins in there just for emergencies or whatever um i will put that in there but i could put like extra cash or receipts in there if i want but i have to really fold it up um so this I don't really use. And also I try not to use this little strap thing too much um, because I don't want the the, um, the glazing on this to be cracked and just to start having awful wear. So I use the main part a lot. Um, I love this layout. It's just a, it's an amazing layout. You don't have to file through cards. You don't have to... Um, you know, look for your cards. They're all there, right there in front of you. Um, whereas this one here, you kind of do have to use this as like a file folder type of thing. I know it's kind of weird, um, little analogy, but that's just how I think of uh, these wallets. Um, so all in all, Honestly, like they have different uh, uses. Um, this one here. So this little guy here, um, the O case here, I would use for um, 
not many handbags, but I would use this for small to medium sized handbags just because um, it is actually larger than like a card holder um, in, in width. But also the depth is a big concern because if you have a mini bag, usually this is like this and a little bit more is the, is the depth of a of a mini handbag so this could take up most of your space in a mini handbag um, like my square mini I would definitely not use this in there because um, again the depth would just take up too much space so it's best if you have a small size handbag like for example this handbag here is from Fendi this is a vintage um, bag but if you have a small sized handbag that's kind of like um, this size um, by like five by like eight inches in depth um, it, that might that could be best um, for you uh, for this wallet um, and yeah it's just not really versatile for mini handbags but it's great for small handbags um, it does free up a lot more space if you have small handbags and it does hold quite a lot if you have small handbags and it could double up as a full uh, as a full-on wallet for your small handbag so you don't have to have so many other little SLGs with you like a, a coin purse or or whatever uh, accompanying this this can be an all-in-one piece um, and then also this one here, I would say this is best used um, from small, depending on the small bag, medium to large handbags. Um, as you can see, again, there is a big height difference between the two and also length. There is a little bit of a difference here. So I would say, yeah, this is best for that. So I love using this in my jumbo. I love using it in my um, me, my old medium Le Boy bag, um, and even my Petit Tujour, my Speedy 25, my Neverfull MM. Um, you know, many large handbags like that, or any like large totes or whatever. This is great too. Um, what I find really good about this is. Um, if you are trying to dig around in your handbag, you can feel around and feel that this is your wallet because of the pebble leather. Whereas this here is a little bit harder to detect because it is a smoother surface. And so, I mean, other things in your bag could have smooth surfaces, so you could get confused. Um, so it's best to, um, for, for this because you can find it just by touching it. Um, and also the size is actually a lot easier to know that this is your wallet. Um, and also because you can feel that there's a zipper on the back. Um, it's just, um, user, more user friendly in that case. Um, but yeah, larger, larger handbags, this is great for that. And you can, you can, because this is already so compact, you can fit a lot more stuff inside your bag. And also you don't have to have all your cards, um, you know, wandering around in your bag. You don't have to have extra card holders accompanying this wallet. You can just put them all inside here and it'll just save so much space for, for your bag. Um, just make sure with this though that you have a bag that's not so short because it could um you know it could not it could alter the the closing of the bag so just be careful and just be mindful of the height of this um this is quite tall uh in comparison to a normal card holder so um I thank you guys all for watching. I hope this video was very informative and helped you if you were wondering which ones you get. Um, and please follow me on Instagram, Catherine is a cat. You'll see these guys featured on my uh, Instagram. And also please subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. That will tell me that you guys are interested or want to see more of these comparison type videos. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts of these two pieces here which one uh, do you think um, you prefer and I will see you guys in my next video have a great one you guys bye bye